Hi friends, today's story is called The Bubble Factory. It's by Tommy DePaula. He also did the illustrations. The Bubble Factory. Sam and Molly were always getting into things and Grandpa was always getting them out. So one day he handed the twins jars of bubbles to keep them out of trouble. Double bubbles they were called because with each wave of the double wand out came not one but two bubbles. Perfect for twins, Grandpa said, and made right here in town at the bubble factory where I used to work. The bubble factory, the twins said at the same time. Would you take us there today? So off they went. Before long, they turned down a winding road and there it was. It looked like any ordinary factory, except for what was coming out of the chimney. Bubbles. Lots and lots of bouncy bubbles in every color you can imagine. Sam and Molly couldn't wait to go inside. Grandpa introduced them to Mr. B, the head bubble maker who was just as round as a bubble himself. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how bubbles are made. Mr. B told the twins. The first stop was the great bubble machine, a maze of wheels and gears and levers and pulleys. Jar after jar popped onto a belt. Mechanical arms moved up and down, placing a wand in each one, then filling and capping them. Next, they visited the bubble bathroom. Bathory. Here, new kinds of bubbles, bubble bath were being tested in big bathtubs by a bubble-o-meter. Down the hall was a bubble boutique with really fancy bubbles floating everywhere. Polka dotted ones, striped ones, even bubbles with your name on them. In the bubble gummery next door, brand new bubble gum was being invented. Whistling bubble gum, non-popping bubble gum, and bubble gum that did the chewing for you. Mechanical heads were test blowing bubbles. One had pink goo all over its metal face. The last stop was the bubble lab. This was the place where the bubbles of the future were invented. Bubbles which had started out as only an idea in someone's head. Can we see them? The twins asked. Mr. B shook his head. Oh, sorry, but it's too soon. They're not ready yet. Just then, with a, a bubble worker came in to get Mr. B. Mr. B, you're expected at the 11 o'clock bubble board meeting. Oh, come with me, Mr. B said to Grandpa. Everyone will want to see you. Grandpa looked at the twins. Well, if I go, will you stay? Will you two stay out of trouble? The twins nodded, so Mr. B led them out into the hallway and sat them on a bubble bench. Stay right here until I get back, Grandpa told them. I won't be long. Sam and Molly meant to do exactly what Grandpa said, but Mr. B had left the door to the bubble lab open. So, quicker than it takes a bubble to pop, they were inside again. Sam took one jar, Molly took another. They looked at each other. Let's try them, they said together and went back to the bubble machine. All the bubble workers were at the meeting. The bubble machine was turned off. Well, I see the on button, Sam said. They both reached for it and pushed. The machine gave a giant bloop. Now what do we do? Sam asked. 
Molly pointed to a large funnel with a sign on it that said, pour here. So they did. A little from Sam's jar A and a little from Molly's jar B. At first, nothing happened. But Sam and Molly kept hoping. Then suddenly, bubbles by the billions came whooshing out of the machine. Look what's happening to the bubbles, said Molly. Wow, said Sam. It's all of our wishes come true. The twins could not believe their eyes. What did we do? Molly asked. I don't know, but let's do it again. Sam said. They were just about to pour in more from Jar A and Jar B when Grandpa and Mr. B came running in. What's going on here? Mr. B asked. We just saw a bubble rocket coming out of the chimney. Sam and Molly looked at each other. I'm sorry, Molly said. We didn't mean to make such a mess. Sam nodded. I wish I... There were some way for us to clean it up. No sooner said than done. Out of the bubble machine came a cleanup squad of vacuum cleaners, brooms, dust pans, and mops. They all went to work. In a flash, everything was back as it had been before. Grandpa and Mr. B stood with their mouths open. Well, this is amazing! cried Mr. B. No one has ever made bubbles like this before. What did you do? Sam and Molly showed Mr. B the bottles. It's easy. All you do is pour in some of jar A and some of jar B. Then your wishes come true. Well, you've made wish bubbles, said Grandpa. We've been trying to do that for years, said Mr. B. We need you around here. You, will you come back? Who knows what else you'll dream up. That was fine with Sam and Molly. When it was time to leave, they got a big send off. And a ride home in Mr. B's bubble mobile. That night after Grandpa kissed them each goodnight, they felt something under their pillows. Bubble jars with a note from Mr. B. It says, memo from Mr. B. Thank you for the wonderful wish bubbles and sweet dreams, Mr. B. The end. That was a fun story. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a good night.